Hi friends, I'm here to show you uh, my recent project. It's a set of uh, programming lessons added to my uh, website. I run for rather a long time. Uh, it's a website with a collection of programming problems, but I found that some people have difficulty with the simplest problems. So I thought um, for a long time how how to deal with it and I created started creating uh, these uh, small lessons uh, they uh, have some interactive features and uh, some of them uh, I believe would be use useful not only for beginners uh, I speak of play playground feature which I will show in a few minutes uh, the lessons themselves use uh, Lua programming language it's uh, similar to python but easier and uh, still it's industrial grade there are uh, various projects in it and uh, so it's not a waste of time to learn it uh, the first lesson is uh, the zeroth lesson is just demo i think you will see it yourself uh, we start with a real lesson we, and uh, all lessons are like this there are some explanations there are code snippets examples uh, and uh, retyping or just clicking them so they are copied to the coding area we can then execute them and see what happens we can modify this playing something according to instructions or ex exercises in the lesson for example, let us uh, do it three times. Uh, change aliens to convenient hello world. Right. Uh, let us see. Predictably, it works. Uh, but uh, just I thought that uh, people, beginners, could be uh, bored with uh, just uh, text or exercises just printing some text etc um, or inputting some text and uh, thus uh, i added uh, ability to create some simple graphics it uh, should be very very simple just few functions so that even beginners uh, have uh, opportunity to uh, play with it to create some small programs even games and uh, here is one of the first uh, lessons on graphics. Uh, for example, uh, this exam example, this snippet, it uh, draws lines from the top left corner to the to the bottom uh, with the x coordinate increasing steadily in the in the loop. Here is the canvas in which uh, this will happen. Let us click run. Oh wow, it works. Uh, there are other graphical um, lessons uh, magic of colors for example about uh, web colors about rgb but uh, uh, important thing that there are uh, uh, ways to make graphics interactive i will show probably in a few uh, minutes and um, there is a very important feature i believe uh, saving and sharing uh, the custom programs which a uh, beginner user can create uh, it's very important i think because uh, when we start programming we need some approval from our friends family etc and we need to show them something and uh, this way it's very easy because uh, programs are stored here on the site and uh, uh, they could be shared by url by direct url for example, these examples are uh, saved in the test user account. Uh, random circles you have already seen when we started this video. There is another example, uh, memory game. Uh, when it opens, it, it's already running. We can start clicking. Uh, the game is about finding matching pairs uh, of numbers. Okay, I'm very, very poor in it no it, it's it's not much uh, matching pairs are removed by and by and so on uh, every such program has a bleak 
uh, inscription view code below and uh, so this is a kind of open source for beginners uh, but how we actually edit uh, these things let us see let us uh, log in because uh, to save the code we need to be in the account of course but it's uh, even if you are not registered it's just a matter of minute either with a simple password and uh, uh, username or with github for example and let us see uh, for example i use direct link to playground i have no idea where to put it yet uh, there are already created codes by me i can edit them but um, like this for example there is some code uh, not very interesting let me start a new one uh, let it be let it be for example uh, let us just click on the on the canvas and uh, put some circles when we clicked right so we initialize graphics um, and uh, we create a loop uh, it's sandless loop probably right we need to check for click uh, graph click um, if there was no click uh, then uh, coordinates are negative x we only put circles if if uh, it was uh, real coordinates um, uh, say it's at x and y uh, coordinates and with the with the radius about 30 and we need some color we shall make it random color now uh, just i showed let us not forget some delay uh, so our browser isn't overheated um, say 30 milliseconds now about uh, picking random color uh, array of colors red green blue yellow orange i think it's enough now let it be a variable CLR and uh, it's picked from colors uh, with the help of math random where we pass the size of colors array let us see hopefully this will work i i can even save it uh, in case something is broken uh, some name save you see the url have changed it's direct url to our uh, game now let us try it right i i forget something i forget to pass the cellar uh, variable uh, not the big problem we save it again now let us run it very very interesting super game and so on I invite you to try this yourself. Uh, you see this uh, feature with the uh, saving, uh, saving programs. For example, I uh, remember this um, copy and paste this uh, URL. I log out and when I uh, reload this page, uh, this, uh, this game is already running. It is uh, suitable for running on mobile screen. Uh, it should work. You sh can test it yourself. Uh, so I invite you to try this. Uh, hopefully this could be fun and useful for creating small programs. Uh, surely if you have some ideas about uh, further extending this, uh, just come up and, and tell. 
uh, I hope to add more lessons. It's just beginning, it's a long way to go yet, as I see. But uh, I believe uh, we can uh, overcome this together. Uh, thank you very much for, looking, for watching that far. Bye-bye.